right. A.T. says jail brought her and her crush closer. A.T., what's going on? Okay, Jerry. So I'm here because I fell in love with a convict. Oh. Uh, okay. While he was in jail or before? It was before. Before. Yes. So we met when we were younger. We went to the same church. Um, yeah. Our families are super close. And, like, we were best friends. And, you know, I always liked him. I just, you know. So he went to jail. We talked on the phone all the time, you know, when they gave him the free calls and everything. Yeah. And, you know, we would always talk all the way up to, like, the 10-minute mark. And, yeah. And then there's, like, one minute remaining. And, we, you know, we were still on the phone. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, like, we wrote letters back and forth. And, like, I wrote him over, like, 100 letters. Wow. Yeah. And so, Is he aware how much you feel for sure, him? he better be. Oh, okay. And then, yeah. So... Then, like, I even sprayed my perfume in the letter so he could remember a woman's scent, you know, oh. and drew him here. Yeah, and so when he got out, I thought, you know, like, we built this whole connection. We could be together. Yeah. And no, that, that's not how it went. It's just been random hookups and booty calls, you know, when they call you at 2 o'clock in the morning, they're like, you up? And you're like, I mean, yeah, but, you know, I wanted it to be more. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so. So you're here to tell him you'd like to take it to the yeah, next Yeah, I'm level. here to get my man. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. Yeah. And see, I just have names here. His name is Josh. Yes. Here's Josh. Hey, Josh. Oh. Very nice. Okay, so I wrote you a letter before you got out, but I couldn't deliver it because, you know, you got out. But I want to read it to you. Ooh. Dear Josh, this letter is going to be a little different than the rest. I want you to know that above all, I value our friendship, and I'm beyond grateful that God placed you in my life. We've been best friends for a while and have endured more than an average friendship, but it has only made our, our relationship stronger. Since you've been in prison, I've been holding it down. Our connection is deeper than oceans deep. I have never felt the joy that I feel when we talk on the phone or when I read one of your letters. You make me so happy. I love you. I love your humor. I love your optimism. It inspires me to look at the good in every situation. I love your personality, and I love how you care, and I love how you listen. But most of all, I love you. Loving you completes me. You make me want to be a better woman for you. I can see our future together. Do you see it? Oh. Very nice. Honestly, I see us better as friends. I mean... I really, honestly, I have a wife. And... Did, you, did you know that? But you've been cheating on me this whole entire time with... I mean, you know, would you just give me a... I mean, I'm cheating. Well, at least you're employed. <laughs> what do you mean that's not... I mean, cheating? I mean, it is to an extent. I mean, I was wrong. I should have never did it. And I apologize for trying to lead you on. When I was locked up, uh, you don't have anybody to talk to like that, you know? It's like you're around a bunch of guys. No, so, wait a minute. That you don't want to be around and you ain't. What about all the time? I wasted all my coins putting money on your books. And I appreciate and that. And all the collect calls. Really? I appreciate Just friends that. now. You weren't saying that when we were having sex. You weren't saying that when you were giving me you were, I was giving you Look. You were just trying to... <laughs> what I did to you, it should have never been done. Um, I honestly look at you as a friend. I would rather be your friend more than anything. So basically you were saying that you were using me this whole entire time. I was not... I mean, if you we want to put it We grew up together. Like that, Our families are close. I mean, that's why I said I, can't, I didn't use you. I, feel, I don't feel like I used you. You don't feel like you used me? No. You don't, you don't feel like you use me. So, did you, did you know he was married? Yes. No. It must have then crossed your mind that this could be this kind of a reaction. Yes, they just recently... How long have you been married? I've been married for, like, five months. So you just got married since you got out of jail? Right. Well, chill, right? Yeah. But together is because their mom hooked them up. 
Well, here it is, Jerry. Yeah. My mother owns this business, and yeah. I met this female through her. Yeah. Well, we I got out of prison. I end up going to meet with this person, sometimes kick it with her, uh, yeah. go to Carter's Lake or do something fun, you know? Yeah. And so sometimes I would just leave it alone. Sometimes I pick it back up. And I felt stronger for her and I married her. You know what I mean? Ever since I married her, I never cheated on her. That's a lie. I just gave her last week. There, there goes that job again. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm sorry. I don't mean sorry doesn't to lead you on. Okay, and uh, Kendra, is that who your wife is? Yes. Here's Kendra. I messed, no. Honestly, I messed up, and I want to fix us. So when did this happen? Well, it was that time that when I was at performing, and I told you that I got, I walked home, mm -hmm. which she was the one. <laughs> well, here it is, Jerry. I've been dealing with a lot of stress. I have a lot of stress on me, yeah. doing to, uh, going to prison, getting out. You know, it puts a lot of stress on you. And then with her attitude, the way she treats me, the way that she talks to me, she don't talk to me like a human. She don't seem like she want to be with me. She don't show me no affection or anything like that. Is that true? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I pay all the bills. I'm the only one that's working now. The phone you got, I the bought it. The only reason he's with you is because Bitch, you're don't even say nothing to me right now because I will snatch that wig right off. Honestly, I love you and really want to be with you. I really I what haven't cheated on you. No, he on loves what you can do for him. I, I haven't cheated mm -hmm. on you since we got married. I don't even know why you're satisfied with him. He can't. He lasts five minutes. He gets jealous over sex toys because all of them's bigger than him. You gonna sit here That's and tell me true. cheating with uh, with you is cheating, but then you want to go and get this? Like, where does that come in? I mean, it was just. It was just a one-time thing. I haven't did it since me and you've been married. I haven't did anything since me and you've been married. We have <laughs> saying that she a week ago? I but don't, I mean, you don't count that as cheating, right? To an extent. What do you mean to an extent? I mean, like, to an extent. <laughs> that don't even make sense. Yeah. So uh, you love him? Oh, yeah, I love him, or I wouldn't be with him. Right. I mean, I pay all the bills. I go to work, come home, clean the whole house, cook dinner, take care of my kids. Even while I'm at work, I get 50 million phone calls from him. He only wants day. you, so you only want Why him to take care of his talking? kids. Why are you still talking? Nobody is even talking to you. Like, for real. What did you say? You want me to get a little bit closer? Say. <laughs> in her for real for real she's like what 80 pounds soaking wet the other bitches you cheated on me with they was like 400 pounds looking like a man sounding like a man well if he's just from your point of view if he is cheating on you mm -hmm. and doing it semi-regularly you seem to be aware of it mm -hmm. you know what you're agreeing to apparently well, see, so the thing is, you can't been, be surprised well when we first got decided that we was talking about getting married and yeah. stuff he was like, oh, the cheating's done, which he was doing real good after he gave me an STD. And we had to go get checked. But, <laughs> oh. I mean, once that happened, it's like, okay, well, you're going to go hoe and 
do what you do, but now, you know, everything comes Jack, to a standstill. He got yeah. a job. It's like this. I'm constantly getting accused, even when I ain't doing nothing wrong. I'm, I, I take you out to eat. I try to show you some affection. I pay for I buy, it. When I buy me clothes, no. I pay when for I, it. When I buy me clothes, when I buy me clothes, I bought you clothes. You had a job for two months. Oh, wow, your little $1,200. What about, what about the time that you took my weed? I bought it. I bought no, it. No, I didn't know about I that. I paid for that. I don't care. I bought it. You didn't pay for that. With the weed? Well, I had about two ounces. Yeah. And I had them stashed away. Yeah. Well, she knew where they were stashed at. Oh. Well, that night that me and her got into it, I left the club. And when I left the club, got with her, she didn't know about it at the time. And then I get to her house and I'm like, can I get my weed? It's gone. She's like, no, you can't get it back. Oh. I hit it in the woods where it usually hides whenever he gets mad and wants to take off. So what I do is I take, I got a basket. I take my basket, fill it up with my stuff, and I go throw it in the woods somewhere <laughs> so nobody can't find it. Does it ever work? Because guess where it always ends back up? At the house. But you find it. I don't, I don't go looking for it. You seem to take better care of your weed than you do of her. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's your... Yeah. It's your... I mean, you got to know, you're a grown-up, you got to know if you want her and you really want to have a marriage with her, you can't be doing this other stuff. You're right. You know, I mean, you know that, so... I don't know why he wants her anyways. <laughs> you're 18 years old, don't know nothing about responsibility, and you won't take care of him. First of all, yeah. I'm 20 years old, in med Ooh. school, and I have my own house, my own car, my own job, so what do you mean? My fifth child right here, plus my four children. You always need to take care of him well enough because he's cheating on you. Well, apparently, one thing you are is a bobble <laughs> you're doing is giving <laughs> and Apparently, so, that's all he likes from you. You guys together? I want to be with her. I want to stay with her. And like <laughs> I said, I haven't, I haven't cheated on her since me and you been since married. Since last week. Let's say that. So what exactly? What do you, uh, you got toys that you use with you, and then you got from a real bitch. What? It was just something that that should have never happened, Kevin. Maybe I should just go get from somebody. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.